Whether you're doing heavier graphical work on Windows 10 or gaming, your CPU temperature can get hot under the hood. Here we'll show you what kind of temperature your CPU should run at and how to check what your CPU temperatures are using several great bits of software. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier and this is how to check your CPU temperature in Windows 10. The temperature of your computer's processor is pretty vital for keeping it healthy. After all, being the hotspot of calculations within your computer, it's a good idea to keep it cool. Processors that get a little too hot can cause all kinds of issues for your computer. It might throttle itself to keep cool, which means less processing power overall. In dire situations, it will cause the computer to BSOD, freeze, or even shut down or restart itself. As such, it's a good idea to check on your temperatures every so often. This is especially true if you put your laptop in situations where it might overheat, such as on your blanket or duvet as you use the laptop in bed, or even in a car. In this video, we'll explore the different ways you can check CPU temperature in Windows 10. Okay, first, what's a bad temperature? Unfortunately, it's not immediately obvious what a good or bad temperature for a processor is. If you looked up your processor's idle temperature and saw it was 30 degrees C, is that good or bad idle temperature? What about 40 degrees or 50 or 60 or 70 degrees C? If you want to know what your processor's max temperature is, search the web for the product page of your specific CPU and then find out where it lists the max ideal temperature for your processor. If the temperature is listed under something similar to maximum operating temperature or T case, then that's the temperature which you should strive to keep your processor under most of the time. If it says T junction, the general advice is to keep things at at least 30 degrees under this stated temperature. Either way, if your PC is under this temperature for most or ideally all of the time, you're doing fine. Now we know what the temperature limit is, it's time to explore how to check CPU temperature in Windows 10. This requires the aid of third party programs which will help keep tabs on how hot the processor is getting. MSI Afterburner Designed with gamers in mind and for those who want to overclock their PCs, MSI Afterburner doubles up as an excellent tool to monitor your PC temperatures. When you select CPU temperature, you can also tick the show in on screen display box. So it appears in the corner whenever you enter the shortcut for bringing up the OSD. You can choose what key you want to do this by going to the on screen display tab in Afterburner settings. Open hardware monitor. Open hardware monitor is a nice solution for getting all your needed statistics in one place. This will be able to tell you what your CPU's temperatures are, as well as your GPU's temperature, the voltages being used in your computer, and even how fast your system fans are going. This makes it a robust tool that allows you to keep an eye on all your system temperatures. You can find your CPU's temperature under the category with your CPU's name in it. It will list the temperature for each core your processor has. A lot of these temperature monitors allow you to put readings into your taskbar. This is particularly useful if you're doing system intensive tasks and want to keep an eye on your temperatures without darting back and forth between the active window and the system monitor. If you'd like to see the CPU temperature in the taskbar, right click the temperature itself and click show in tray. If the reading ends up hiding in the additional icon section, you can drag it out onto the main active tray. This means it'll always be visible as long as you can see the taskbar. Core temp. If you'd like something a little more focused on the processor itself, Core Temp is a good choice when you need to check CPU temperature in Windows 10. It gives you everything you may want to know about your processor, such as its name, the cores it uses, and most importantly, its temperature. It will even inform you of your processor's T-junction limit, listed as TJ Max, above your temperatures. If you'd like to see the temperature in the system tray, it should be enabled by default, but if not, click Options and then Settings. Click the Windows Taskbar tab and then enables Windows 7 Taskbar features followed by Temperature and then OK. Speccy. Another all-in-one suite, Speccy comes as a nice package of various system diagnostics, including the ability to check CPU temperature in Windows 10. As soon as you open Speccy, you're shown all the relevant temperatures you need to know for a healthy laptop. It's also great for digging up information on your system, so make sure you remember this application should you need information about your operating system or motherboard, for example. If you click on CPU to the left, you can get more focused information on your processor. If you'd like the temperature to appear in the tray, click View, then Options, click System Tray, then 
minimize to tray followed by display metrics in tray and then select CPU. When you minimize Specky, you can keep tabs on how hot your CPU is running as you do other things. If the above methods lead you to discover that you have quite a toasty processor, don't panic. There are many solutions you can use to bring your processor down to a more reasonable level. We recently published an article about how to cool down an overheating laptop, so see if the solutions there will help you bring your CPU down to a more manageable heat. Link in the description. Being a vital part of your laptop, an overheating processor is a cause for concern. With third-party apps, however, you can easily check CPU temperature in Windows 10 and ensure your processor is working as cool as it should. How attentive are you to your CPU's temperature? Do you like to keep a constant eye on it or do you only check it every once in a while? Let us know in the comments below. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.